Hello everyone and good morning from beautiful Sweden because it's morning here. Uh, I'm here today uh, together with my colleague Ture Danielsson. We work at uh, Wikimedia Sveria, uh, the Swedish chapter of the Wikimedia Foundation. And we're going to talk about a project that we together have been working on this year. Uh, about building a repository of organizational knowledge. What is it all about? Well, we are a Wikimedia chapter that has been active for quite a number of years. We've done a lot of projects, we've uh, collaborated with a lot of partners such as Plum institutions, uh, schools, universities, and public agencies. We have published a lot of reports and other documents. Well, that is a lot of things. Uh, and uh, we use our own wiki to keep track of all of it. That is a solution that I know uh, many other Wikimedia chapters uh, use. And our wiki keeps growing every year. Every year, uh, as you can see, for example, here, we create categories for each of the projects uh, that we are running this particular year. And we try to be organized and put all the pages in the correct categories. Every project has a lot of data connected to it. Uh, it has an assigned project ID number that we use for uh, all the bureaucratic things. It has a start and end date. It has a project manager assigned to it. It has a budget and so on. And if you have been using linked open data, for example, if you are a Wikidata user and editor, then you might start thinking, what is the point of collecting all this information on a wiki in a combination of free text and templates that uh, people have to go through to find the information. When this is very suitable to organize in a linked data format, like the Wikidata, and then it would be much easier to find the information you're looking for. For example, what sort of projects have we done in the last five years in collaboration with art museums in Sweden. When it's all on a wiki, it's not easy to find. But if it was on Wikidata, it would be much easier. And of course, Wikidata is not the right place for this sort of internal information for a Wikimedia chapter. And uh, that's uh, where Wikibase comes in. This is the software that runs behind Wikidata. It is a free and open source software, so anyone can use it to set up their own database that is very similar to Wikidata and works just like it. I've heard uh, from people who have installed Wikibase on their own servers that the installation and setup process is not always the most user-friendly, but these days there is this great uh, infrastructure called Wikibase Cloud, where you can uh, set up your own Wikibase online with much, uh, with much less trouble than what is needed to work with your own Wikibase on your own server. So this is what we have been working on for the last month. Set up our own Wikibase Cloud instance uh, to store our organizational knowledge in a structured form. Does it work? Is Wikibase a good software for this? And how it could be used in the future? That's what we've been trying to find out. You can uh, reach our prototype uh, at this address, metabase.wikibase.cloud, uh, where you can uh, get an overview of what we have been working on. For example, uh, we have focused on modeling a couple types of items, such as our projects, people and organizations connected to Wikimedia Sveria, 
all the events we have done. That's a lot. All the presentations, edit at home, classes we've had at universities, and uh, all the documents we have published, like project final reports, white papers, uh, and so on. And in the process of this work, of course, there has been a lot of conversations and a lot of thinking. Uh, because some of the things uh, we include already exist on Wikidata. For example, if we have an editathon in Stockholm, we need an item for Stockholm, but we don't need to save all the information about Stockholm, that it is a city in Sweden, that it has coordinates and so on. That's why when necessary, we have a property, same as on Wikidata, to link to the corresponding Wikidata item uh, of this concept. For example, here, our coworker, Josefine Herod Larsson, uh, she was at Wikimedia Sferia, but she's also relevant enough to her, have her own Wikidata item where you can find more information about her and her work. And because we make these connections, uh, we can use federated Sparkle queries to get uh, more information from Wikidata, such as, as I mentioned, coordinates of the cities where we have had different events and uh, we can plot them on a map if we want to. Um, I really, really love uh, writing Sparkle queries and I really, really love federation. It's extremely powerful. And you really start thinking about possible combinations of things and what you could learn from them. So if you go to Metabase right now, you will not actually find all the data about our work from the last 10 years, because we have been focusing on just modeling, on the creating example items for all the different types of information uh, we want to include. Uh, we have tried to build an ontology that is a data model that fulfills our needs since we have some special needs. For example, we do have a property for the project ID number that Wikimedia Sferia uses, which is not relevant for Wikidata. But at the same time, we want to keep it close to Wikidata so that uh, it's understandable, so that it can be filled with data by people who are familiar with Wikidata so that they don't have to learn uh, a lot of new things. And we have also been focusing on documenting our thought process, uh, our modeling process. And uh, since, even despite the fact that we are Swedish, we have uh, done all the documentation uh, in English. So if you go to uh, Metabase, uh, the link is uh, in the slides previously. If you go there, you can actually read all the documentation and see all the examples and think about whether this makes sense. Uh, later on this year, in September, October, throughout the autumn, we want to really stress test this idea. That is, we will have a person at Wikimedia Sferia who has not worked with us previously as an employee, and they will be tasked with converting all the information from our wiki to the structured data format. Uh, we love, for example, that Quick Statements works on Wikibase Cloud, uh, so it will be a great tool uh, for anyone who is familiar with uh, Wikidata. And by doing this stress test and actually filling the instance with information, we will see whether this can work in practice. Does it make any sense in the first place? And uh, our long-term plans are, or should I say long-term hopes, is that it does work and that other members of the Wikimedia movement will be interested in joining this initiative. And I would now like to ask uh, Ture, to uh, say a couple of words on this. Uh, yes, um, we have had a, um, 
uh, workshop at, for the staff uh, at Wikimedia Sweden, and there are some experiences from the workshop that we have to consider for the future. And uh, it is, uh, uh, who are we doing this for, and what do we want to use MetaBase for? Uh, what are the most important questions that we will ask MetaBase? Uh, of course, the, the organization have the structure of the information, but there's a lots of information, and it takes time to uh, to um, uh, collect, clean, and enter data. Of course, uh, even if you have quick statement and so on, you have to uh, prepare the data. And and one thing is how uh, how um, detailed should the subject words be? You can be a general or you can be detailed. Uh, of course, this connection to Wikidata is very important, and, and there you have a, a very good solution. But with, when you're with your own properties, you have to have this discussion around this. Um, and also, how should we, we work with the sources uh, in accuracies and updates? This could be this person that we are work uh, with hire in, in a couple of months or next month. So there will be a person that, because those questions have to be handled by someone. Uh, and, uh, and, the, and one conclusion um, of the workshop was also that we have to start with a, a defined part of, act, of our activity. And that could be, uh, uh, we have uh, done a lot of uploads to Wikimedia Commons, and that's something that we can share with our partners and even to share with new partners how we are working with this. So this is an area that we can start with. Uh, and for the collaboration, we would very much like to, to uh, discuss or invite other chapters or, or organizations uh, to this metabase or even or discuss other Wikibase that have the same solutions because we think that we can connect those uh, Wikibase to each other uh, in, in, in the long term. We can find knowledge about inside our movement. Yes, um, so uh, uh, we would very much like to have contact and uh, and hear other plans for this. Uh, yeah, thank you very much from, from us, Alisa and me from Wikimedia Sweden. Thank you.